Hey guys, welcome back to Tiny House Customs. I'm Dan. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, the link for all eight parts in this series will be listed in the description below. So let's pick up where we left off in the last episode. In today's video, I'm going to be plumbing in a faucet with a shower head and some other stuff. And I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a plumber. And I highly recommend if you're going to do this, hire a plumber. But El Cheap Ass here and El Cheap Ass Landlord are uh, gonna do it but he's not going to clearly so I got this huge beefy block which I have no idea why it's there but I want my faucet on and off switch right here uh, I could drill two holes in here and then a third to bring the pipes up to it and then one down for the spigot but I'm gonna see if I can cut it out it might be screwed in from the wall here and yes, that is black mold. Black mold is edible. You can lick this. Um, it's high in protein and uh, it has a lot of fiber. So help yourself. Did you get them all? Who the f knows? Where's your hammer? I did get them all, look at that. Hercules, 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 Hercules. What in the heck is the purpose of that piece of wood? Now the next step is I gotta go shut the water off disconnect these and start doing the plumbing. As soon as I shut the water off I need to completely finish this project and this is the scariest part of this whole project for me because it's out of my comfort zone. I'm gonna go take a shower so that I can sleep comfortably tonight and then I'm gonna come up here and start taking this apart and see what I can get put back together tonight and it is midnight so this is six hours in already. I have this ghetto shower so I was able to take a shower down here. As soon as I shut this water off here and I break into those pipes, I need to finish those pipes completely before I can turn this water back on. So that right there signifies work that needs to get done immediately. All right, since I shut the water off, I need to drain the lines. If I just open this up, it will pour out all the water. I also have to open a pipe downstairs which I'm not gonna do but you know you should do that. If I didn't say this before I'm nervous about this project. This scares me tremendously because plumbing golly it can leak and leaks cause major problems. Faba. Okay, this right here is called a union. What a union does is it connects two pipes together. Because of the threads, they can't. You can't um, thread this pipe into this one and also into this one at the same time. So they attach a union so that you can connect these two after you've threaded all that pipe in. So if I break this union apart right here, I'll be able to unscrew this pipe from the basement. Hopefully, hopefully. So I got this this manly size pipe wrench. No offense, ladies. Oh, that ain't going. See, this is more reasons why I hate plumbing. Okay, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, baby Jesus. Oh, God. Now, that one is going to be in the reverse direction, I think. The theory serves me right. Mowing. Built for looks. Built for life. So now this pipe right here is screwed down into the basement. So I'm going to try to dislodge it from here because I've got a better leverage point. You mean leverage? Shut up. Oh, that was a fail. You fucker. I know you plumbers are laughing at me right now, but... And for those of you who think I'm using it the wrong way, I swear to God I'm not. 
That was a lot of water I just heard in the basement. There you go. God, what am I doing? This is insane. This is scary. Alright. Drink a little. Just too much. Tools you will need. That's bold lies. So this is the faucet that I'm going to be installing. Um, if you go through the instructions, it'll tell you um, what height everything needs to go at. I was born with a penis, so I'm un incapable of listening to instructions. So I'm just going to go with it. I want the damn thingy right here. Peanut is a f***ing mess in here. Yeah, I can see. Why are you f***ing clean it up, you dipshit? So I want the center of that faucet right about here. So I'm going to take that pipe from here. I'm going to measure up to roughly there, which is about 21 inches. Now I'll take that pipe out of there. I'll hold 21 inches on the end of the pipe. And I know I need to cut a pipe 50 inches because I got to give a little bit for the solder fitting. So I'm going to cut two pieces of copper at 50 inches and I'm gonna solder them into a threaded adapter just like this. And once they're soldered, then I can wrap some plumber's tape on there and I can connect them into the fitting down below and I'll have my hot and cold water running up to the correct height. And then from off there, I can go and start putting all my T's and all my fittings, hopefully. Ooh, ooh, that might've made a mess. Remind me to clean that up later, would you? Thank you. All right. Good. Put a bunch of holes in your copper pipe there, special. You are special. So I got my copper pipe. Looks pretty to me. I don't know what it's supposed to look like. I'm going to mark my pieces at 50 inches. This fancy tool I'm using is called a pipe cutter, I believe. I, I know. I'm winging it. I'm sure a plumber is going to come and stumble upon my video and ream me a new one for doing everything wrong. So, please, enjoy this video as a learning experience for myself. So I'm just going to spin it around and then when it's loose, I'll tighten this knob and what that'll do is it'll clamp the knife into the copper pipe and it'll slowly cut it. Why aren't you twisting the pipe? It would be much easier if you twisted the pipe instead of... Shut the... I don't know what this thing is, but it would make sense if you, like, went like this with it, maybe? I could be wrong. That would push it back out, right? All right, I got my two pieces cut at 50 inches. Now, you got to get these little fancy-ass brushes. I don't know what the hell they do. They clean the inside of the pipe, so... Just run it around a couple times inside. You also have to clean the ends of these pipes. You can get some sandpaper, which is specific for these pipes. It's in the plumbing section. I bought this fancy thingy. I, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Don't listen to anything I'm saying. Does it tell you which way to spin it? No. Oh, it does a great job, though. You just spin it around there. And look at how clean it is. Fancy. I didn't ream this one. I think... I think that's what's called reaming. I could be wrong. I'm going to send this video to my plumber friend and he's going to yell at me. I can't wait. <sighs> cool. I got, I got four clean ends, I think. Who the freak knows? So we're going to paint this flux stuff on there. How much? Fuck if I know. Do you do both ends? I have no idea. But... When I glue stuff, I like to glue both ends. That seems to work really well. Okay, we'll put a little f flux in there. Can you tell I'm completely lost? I can't wait to read these comments. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hate this video as much as I hate my electrical video. The stupid freaking comments are going to be ridiculous. So once you have both ends fluxed, you can put them together, maybe. Make sure it's seated in all the way, I guess. Maybe I shouldn't have done that reaming trick. That reaming trick, I think, f***ed up. And now, I got some solder. And I got a propane blowtorch. Turn that bad boy on, maybe. I guess we're going to heat this. To what point? I don't know. 
In what direction? I don't know. We're just going to keep it moving like this, I guess. We have test it. Didn't work. Should I be closer, maybe? Test it. Peanut, get out of there. Didn't work. I think you want the point of that blue flame there. I could be wrong. There you go. There you go. I think that worked. So now that I have these two ends soldered, I can put some plumber's tape on the ends and connect them into the pipes, the existing pipes that were there. And then I can go upstairs and start doing all my design work with the plumbing pipes. I don't know what I'm doing. This isn't a video how to learn how to solder because I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to solder everything up. I'm going to cap everything upstairs. I'm going to turn my water on. And if I have a leak, I'll fix it. If not, I'm going to move forward, but I think I did that right. And I am not educated in any way how to do that, but it looks it looks good. I, how the f do you tell if you did good job? I just watched a video and I think I did it. I think I did it right. I just got to clean the extra flux off and then I need to apply my plumber's tape. I did that wrong. Did you see the direction I put that on? That was wrong. All right, now we can put these up into place. All right, I need a ladder. I'm gonna start screwing this in by hand so I can catch the threads. Once it's in there, I can uh, tighten it down with a wrench. <clears throat> ah, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I think those are good. Let's go upstairs and do some more work that I don't know how to do. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please let me know what you thought in the comments below. Please give it a thumbs up if you want me to continue the complete bathroom remodel. Subscribe if you like my style of videos. And to really show me some love, click right up there and show your support. Thanks so much for watching, guys.